So we did a day in the life of a crested gecko, a day in the life of a leopard gecko, and then one person asked me if I could do a day in the life of a chihua. And I thought, you know what, yeah, let's do it. Because historically my chihua videos don't do as well as my others because not many people know about them. They've heard of the crested gecko, the gargoyle, and the lychee, but not the Chihua, the mossy prehensile tailed gecko. Now Drogo is actually my most expensive gecko. He was I think 150 pounds and to me that's a lot. And then I found out from you guys that actually Chihuahuas are like a thousand dollars or more in America so I'm very fortunate to have him. Now what you might not know is he's actually been in this shot the whole time. Drogo is out he is just down here. He has just decided that this little nook is a place to hang out. Now, like the leopard geckos, he does have UV and it has come on 7 till 9 a.m. But I have been having lay-ins in quarantine, so I did miss that, but now his LED is on. And just because of all of this plant growth, the rest of his tank looks quite dark. And I think that's why he has the confidence to hang out during the day. Usually for Drogo he will hang out in here and I won't see him all day um, unless he is on this branch here but as you can see it's very hidden so he feels very secure. And like Lyra I do spray down his tank in the morning. So you'll notice that a lot of the care is very similar to crested geckos. The diet's a bit different because Chihuahuas need more calcium and they eat more feeder insects. Drogo probably eats a lot more of his cleanup crew, which we'll see more of later. But uh, their care is very similar because they're both from New Caledonia. So it's four o'clock and Drogo's UV's just gone on as you can see he's got his back to it he is absorbing that UVB there he is just on his cork hide it's now 7 p.m. so the UV light went off an hour ago and it's still technically light here but Drogo is venturing out if we lift this leaf there he is you right, Drogo so Drogo, I have to admit, is one of the most elusive geckos of mine. You don't see him as much as Lyra or the leopard geckos. It might be down to his setup. I mean, it's very crazy and jungle-like in there. Down below isn't too bad, and sometimes he will come down here. It'd be cool if he does tonight, and you can see that. But there's a lot going on, so lots of places to hide. I do wonder, though, whether it's down to like his species. I've never had a Chihuahua until I had him, so I have nothing to compare it to. But, um, like, he'll he'll sit here and watch me, but say I go to approach him, he'll probably slowly walk backwards and uh, try to run away. They're a lot quicker than, like, a crested gecko, but he doesn't mind coming out. I'll show you later, like, he, he is very active when he's out. But another thing to keep in mind is he is my youngest. I've had him three years. He'll be four in December. So, um... You know, he, he's, still, well, he's, he's an adult, but he's still, you know, getting used to me in comparison to, say, like, Gizmo, who will be 14 this year. So, yeah, this is what he's going to do for now. I'm going to leave him to it, turn off the light, because like Lyra, um, with the room light on, he does kind of stop. So, we're going to leave him to it. It's now 10 to 11. <laughs> I have to admit, I completely forgot to film, um, but this is Drogo. <laughs> So I'm going to feed him and his food bowl is all the way through here. I do just like to let his tank get a bit wild. But Oh, I just dipped my hand in the old food. Um, but yeah, we're going to put this old food down here. There's actually quite a lot left over. Um, I don't know if he actually feeds the cleanup crew. There are two wood lice um, making babies over there. But as you can see, his cleanup crew kind of clean these out. There's a lot of springtails, but they've cleaned that. That is very nice. So I don't often hand feed him, but since he had a lot of food left over, I thought I'd get him out with his food and it'll be a good time to show you what he's like being handled, although he is a bit distracted right now. 
but when he's not distracted by food, he is very fast when he wants to be. But he is liking that. So right now he has the Pangea watermelon flavour. So like the crested geckos, he can eat the same sort of diets. He also has Leap and Leechy's uh, diet just for Chihuahuas, which is great to see a dedicated diet for them. He likes that as well. And as I mentioned, uh, he also likes to feed insects. But today is a fruit day, so he is uh, definitely enjoying that. So I thought I'd put the food down for a second so we can sort of see what he's like being handled. You've seen uh, the crested gecko and the leopard gecko and now the chihuahua. Now I do actually have a video compare. well he's just not going to move. I do have a video comparing all three if you want to see that in more detail. But Drogo will do this right so he'll sit here for a bit, not in focus because of camera, and then all of a sudden he'll decide to run. So Um, fair enough. This is Drogo. Dro <laughs> um, he's just choosing to do this. As his name suggests, he has a pretty handsome tail, so he's pretty confident with that. Um, and so he is just hanging from my hand right now. Would you, would you like something else to grab hold of? Yes, okay. Like, he's so long, it's ridiculous. So like in the Crested Gecko video, I'm going to do a night vision camera on him just for a bit, just to show you how active he really is, because right now he's not showing it. Um, there are a lot of plants at the front of his tank, so if he does jump to the back we may miss it. Uh, but it's worth a shot, because he is usually super active. Today is the day that he's just like, nope, I'm not going to show it. Hi Drogo. You put your hand, oh, oh what he likes to do he's like avoid avoid <laughs> it's okay Draco um and yeah that's <laughs> oh, that's how quick a chihuahua can be when they want to be so I'm gonna put him back in his tank he'll move a bit quicker now because he knows it's home where are you gonna go you wanna go up here oh he is moving so slow he is just taking the mick out of me Go on. Go on, Drago. Nope. So I did a little bit at the end there where you can see me handling him when it's kind of dark in here. Um, usually when I get him out, I guess I only really have the TV on so it's a bit darker and he's a bit quicker. But it's interesting seeing the night vision camera and seeing that he's actually near the front of the tank a lot more during the night. And that's sort of what he avoids during the day. And there's usually quite a bit of clean up crew down here. I don't know. If, I think they've all gone and hidden now I've put on the light. But... Sometimes he just sits there and watches them. He probably eats a few, but yeah. Also, I love that his foot is holding on to this, which is an aerial root just from this plant here. So his his tank is forever growing and changing, and he is adapting to that. He's not, like, maybe this is just Drogo, maybe other two who is a different, but he's not 
a pet that unless it's low light you're not going to see him just casually walk around if i've just got my tv on but the room light off i can see him move around quite a bit but you know it's not like a leopard gecko where you look over and they sort of react to you and walk around and stuff um handling wise he's probably not necessarily like tricky to handle he's never been aggressive he's just quite fast and say for example i went to pick him up now he'd probably retreat and hide in his cork hide back here so yeah he's, he's quite different to a leopard gecko or crested gecko but you know that's why i love him he's he's an individual of his own what has he got on his head is that like a there you go <laughs> but he is super sweet and i hope you've enjoyed this video maybe you were thinking of getting a chihuahua maybe you've never heard of them before but you thought you'd watch this video but um yeah thank you for watching guys and goodbye